Welcome to Skill Session. Today we're gonna hack WordPress with a script that runs for five minutes and we get the password. So how are we doing this? We're doing this by exploiting the fact that WordPress in and of itself isn't secure at all against brute force attacks. Now, before you go ahead and try to do this to your favorite WordPress site or even to your own WordPress site to test it, let me warn you, there are other ways to secure yourself against this. Most web hosts actually have measures in place that will catch you if you do this. And if they catch you doing this to one of their websites, they will add your IP address to a blacklist that's used across a whole range of firewalls across the world. So your whole internet experience is gonna be terrible after this happens. So. Do it locally, try it out, and know that this exists, but in the form that I'm doing it here, it's not really something that you would do. I'm just trying one password after another with like three or 400 passwords per second. But if you were to do this on a production side, if a real hacker was going to do this, they would probably scale it back to try one password per second, but maybe even one password per minute, something like that. Because time is not really of the essence here. As long as we get in, we're all happy. So let me show you how this works. I've set up WordPress, just a completely clean WordPress install, and I've made just one single blog post. This is my WordPress site as it looks with my awesome post. But when I click on my awesome post, I can see here when it was posted, and I can see that it was posted by Jackie. Now this is a security flaw in WordPress. Your screen name and your username that you log in with should be two different things, but it isn't. So we know now that this username, Jackie, is a username that we can log into this WordPress site with. I can copy this username and I can copy the web address. In this case, it's just localhost 8090. And I can put that into my script and I'm gonna start it because it's gonna run for a couple of minutes. And then while it's running, I can explain what it does. It looks like this, hack WordPress, enter username and domain. Okay, the username was Jackie and the domain was localhost 8090. I'll hit submit, it's spinning up here so we can see that it's running. This is the terminal for the WordPress instance. Every time that we have these three lines of code with the same number, that's an attempt at logging in that comes from the other script. Now, the script that's attempting to do this is running here on another port because you can't do this from the same PHP instance, but it's not blinking or anything because this is just a single run through of the script that's doing this. So let's take a look at that script. Let's move this down so we can see if something stops executing here in the background. First up, we have the form that you just saw where we post something to the page. And that's just so we can load it and see the input fields and put something into them. That's also why if we're not posting anything, then the rest of the script won't run. We just say die. And then we write that we are guessing your WordPress password. Next thing we do is that we override the php.ini setting that says that the WordPress timeout is gonna be 30 seconds. That's on by default. Now we're doing a couple of things here just to measure how this works. We're looking at how much time are we gonna spend. We do that by setting the unique timestamp when we begin. And then we set that again when we're finished so we can see how much time passed between beginning and ending of the script. The number of guesses that we made is zero. So every time we guess something new, we just add one to it and then we'll end up by seeing how many guesses we had to make to get the right password. Then we get the username and the domain from the form and we start with a password that's just the letter A. And the idea here is that we try this password, we try and log in with it and if it's not true, then we just add one to the password. If it's not the letter A, it's gonna try with the letter B and then with the letter C and so on and so forth. When it gets to the letter Z, it's gonna start again by saying A, A, and then A, B, A, C, until it gets to A, Z, and then it's gonna try with B, A. So that's the way this works, just with this one simple line of code. This is where we use the username because we know that we have an accurate username. So all we gotta guess is the password. And every time we have a new password we wanna try something with, we call this function down here called WordPress login. It takes a username and a password, and we do a couple of things to build the proper URL with the domain that we were given. We put the username and password into the body of the call and we use curl to make this call. Now, WordPress is built in a little bit of a strange way. Normally, when you try to log in and you're not authorized, you get an HTTP code back saying that you're not authorized, but that's not the case with WordPress. With WordPress, you just get the HTTP code 200, which means, okay, everything is great. When you guess the right password, you get the HTTP response code 
302. We can utilize that to say, if that's the HTTP response code we're getting, then we guess the right password. Otherwise, we return false. So let's go back here where we call it. If we return true, then we call this function saying found the password, what the password was, how many guesses and how many milliseconds it took. And that's what we have down here. We just print it out on the screen to say this was the correct username, the correct password, how many wrong passwords did we try with, and how much time did we spend doing this in milliseconds. So as we can see, this is still running and we can go back here. And actually, in the very second that we skip back here, it guessed the password. So we can see here that the correct username was Jackie, the correct password was mom. We tried 9,191 passwords before we got to the right one. And this took us 322 seconds. So that's a little bit more than five minutes. And just to prove that this works, we can go to this page now and we can go to the domain, forward slash WP admin and say Jackie and say mom, hit login and we're in. It's important to know that this was only so fast because the password was so simple. Had I used 10 letters, this wouldn't have just taken three times longer. Add to your password complexity because this very simple algorithm where I'm just adding one to the letter every time, that only works if you're only using lowercase letters. If you're using uppercase letters, that's twice as many letters to choose from. If you're using numbers, that's another 10 characters to choose from. If you're using special characters, that's another, what, 20, 30 different characters to choose from. If we say that we had 26 letters in the alphabet, that means that we have 26 different passwords to go with. But if we have two letters, then we have 26 times 26. So that means 26 to the power of two. If we have three letters, 26 to the power of three and so on. But if we add capital letters to it, and then we double it. And then we have 52 to the power of two or three or four. And if we add another 26 special characters, another 10 numbers, then we get all the way up to 88 or maybe all the way up to 100. And then when we take those 100 different characters and say that we need a password length of eight, that means that we get 100 to the power of eight. So that's gonna be 10 million billion passwords that we have to try before we guess the right one. And that's why password length and password complexity is so important. Like I said, don't go trying this on any WordPress sites. And if I don't want you to try it on any WordPress site, why am I making this video? I'm making this video to show you how super vulnerable WordPress is. So make sure if you have a WordPress site that you install a security plugin right away that's gonna block people trying to do this to your website so you're not vulnerable to stuff like this. Thank you. This was today's skill session. See you next time.